Hello everyone, this is Warhawk Beyond 2040 bringing to you some very sad news from the world of movies where it has been announced that legendary Italian film composer Anino Morricone has sadly passed away at the age of 91 years old and it is a real shame because he's been such a huge part of film music and he's been around for like forever and you know when you think of films especially iconic soundtracks I'm pretty sure you'll find Anino Morricone's name somewhere near the top of that list and I thought I would take this opportunity to say some few words about him and he's also one of my dad's all-time favorite film composers so this is a bit of both one for Anino and one of course for my dad what can you really say about a guy like Anino Morricone? He's been around forever and he's done well over 400 scores for cinema and television and as well as over 100 classical works under his belt. And he's an icon, a true legend. I mean, I would certainly put him up there in the top three or five. I would certainly put him up there with John Williams and Jerry Goldsmith in terms of just doing that classic movie of the day and my dad and I talked about Anino Morricone many many times and he came to the conclusion that unlike other film composers who tend to follow a certain formula where you hear their soundtracks and you know it's them but he said that a lot of film composers tend to sound the same and he's probably right to a certain degree but he also said to me that Anino Morricone stands out from the others because if you listen to his scores they don't sound the same they sound completely different to the point where you wouldn't even know it was him because they all sound so different and they both have such a unique identity in their own right. I mean, if you look through his catalogue of movies he's done, he's done so many classic films. I mean, he did the score for The Good, The Bad and The Ugly, as we all know, starred Clint Eastwood, which helped make him into a massive star. He also done soundtracks for Eight Fistful of Dollars, the um, Dario Argentino's Animal Trilogy, 1900, Exorcist 2, Days of Heaven, The Thing, The Mission, which is one of my dad's all-time favorite scores. He has that on CD. He done the score for The Untouchables, Mission to Mars, Bugsy, Disclosure, In the Line of Fire, Ripley's Game, and The Hateful Eight, you name it, he, he's done it all. But for me, the soundtrack that I will always know him for is, of course, Cinema Paradiso. And what can you really say about Cinema Paradiso? It's a beautiful movie, very long, but really worth watching. And a big part of the success of Cinema Paradiso is, of course, Nino Morricone's music, especially the Cinema Paradiso main theme and the Cinema Paradiso love theme, which to me are like the two most standout iconic pieces of music you'll find on that score. And no matter how many different versions I hear of that song, even just those little opening bars that just goes do no 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 I know straight away that it's him and he's made such a huge impact but he hasn't just done films he's done TV shows as well he's um, done music for The Simpsons he done music for The Sopranos he's just done it all really what can you really say I mean I could go on forever about the stuff he's done and his catalogue of films just reads like an encyclopedia of history you know he's just done it all he even done music for once upon a time in the west 
you know, he's done the Hellbenders, the Mercenary, the Professional Gun, the Great Silence, Sonny and Jed, What Am I Doing in the Middle of the Revolution? You know, he's he's done it all. This man's a walking film music legend. You know, he's. I have nothing but absolute love and respect and I didn't actually know this until recently but he actually done the closing theme for um, Metal Gear Solid Ground Zero's video game had no idea about that and his music was used in Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots which by the way is one of my all time favorite games yeah he's just so well decorated you know I can't think of anyone else other than John Williams who's done so many classic films. I mean, Anino done films like Forbidden Photos of a Lady Above Suspicion, A Lizard in a Woman's Skin, Cold Eyes of Fear, The Fifth Chord, Short Night of Glass Dolls, My Dear Killer, What Have You Done to Solange, Black Belly of the Tarantula, Who Saw Her Die, Holocaust 2000, which starred Kirk Douglas, another great legend. Wow, what a career. What an absolute amazing career. And it is a real shame that Anino is no longer with us. But I'm telling you right now, he's got so many great soundtracks. His body of work is going to be looked at and listened to for many, many generations, well after we're all gone. And I have nothing to say really, except that he lived a wonderful full life and provided so many great memories of movies and music, not just for me, but for my dad, my grandparents, everybody, you know, this guy's done it all really and before I wrap this up I just want to say one final thing thank you Anino Morricone for all of the great movies all the great soundtracks that you have given us for decades you will be sorely missed by everyone including myself and especially my dad as well may you rest in peace and Thank you once again for everything.